Hello, welcome to CET 4884. The purpose of this course is to provide students with an overview of the field of information security and assurance. The course will discuss the spectrum of security activities, methods, techniques, tools, and procedures. The discussion will include inspection and protection of information assets, detection of intrusions, and reactions to threats uh, to the information assets of the organization. Part of the learning process is to examine a pre- and post-incident procedures and to plan how to pre be prepared and how to respond to these kind of incidents. My name is Professor Youssef and I will be your instructor for this course. Uh, please free, feel free to contact me via email, phone or through virtual office hours using Skype. Uh, please take the time to view, read, and understand all the provided material. 99% of your questions are addressed in the syllabus and in the documents provided. Uh, but if there are any other questions, I will be more than glad to address that. My office hours are posted under the Announcements tab through the online learning system and in the syllabus. For easy access to the, uh, to the course material, I created a link within the welcome announcement. Click here to start, which will take you to course material under uh, course content. The textbook used for this course is Principles of Information Security by Whitman and Method. It's a very good book. It has uh, the information that you need and uh, you can utilize it even af after you graduate on the planning for security if you became uh, a security uh, officer uh, or information security officer. You can also use additional references or supplemental material that can be found online or through the uh, Daytona State College Library to assist in understanding the course material. During the semester, I will provide some of the videos, articles, and presentations as supporting material. Whatever I see online, whatever uh, I see it in the news, and it's new uh, addressing information security, I will uh, post it for you online so it will assist in the understanding and adding to the knowledge of this course. The course is online, so all course material will be available for you through the online learning system. Under content, you will have all the information that you need. Um, your homepage, when you um, go to um, the online learning system, Falcon Online, you, uh, the homepage will display the different courses uh, you are taking this semester. Um, you can click on your course of interest to access course information. I suggest that you navigate through the different tabs to get uh, yourself familiar with the course organization. But in my course, what I did, I have the course, uh, all the course material under course content where you can access the uh, PowerPoints, the lectures, the assignments, the exams, uh, the discussions all in one area which is uh, course content. Uh, that is uh, being arranged uh, in modules that will be released every week. Uh, you know, I would suggest that you log in at least once every day to stay current with course requirements and changes. For easy access, all the course material, including assignments, discussions, quizzes, uh, presentations, lectures, and supplemental material have been posted under the course content tab. Uh, through uh, different modules. The modules will be released weekly ba on, a, on a weekly basis um, as the semester progresses. Uh, you need to access your online courses daily to check for uh, the latest updates and due dates. Uh, the first thing that you need to do in the first week, uh, you have to take the syllabus quiz, which is like an icebreaker for the course, so you can um, uh, get familiar with the uh, course material, the access for the course material, and uh, with uh, reading the syllabus, knowing exactly what's in the syllabus. So that will be the first week. But failing to complete the quiz uh, could lead to purging from the course and you will not be able to view other course material. 
all students are required to complete a weekly discussion uh, which should be due by Sunday of each week uh, which will give you the whole week uh, the uh, working week plus uh, Saturday and Sunday to work on uh, this assignment or this discussion uh, so make every attempt uh, to post your initial response by the middle of the module week and respond to at least uh, one of your peers uh, by the end of that week. For the first week there is no discussion so don't worry about that for the first week we're gonna start from the second week the first week will be covered by the syllabus quiz the weekly discussion is to answer the questions posted and reply to at least one of your classmates posts before the end of the submission period. The questions should be answered after view, reviewing the course material. So look at the course material that will be released that uh, week. Uh, review the lecture, the PowerPoint, uh, review uh, other supplemental material and then after that you answer the three questions provided. If you have a question for me, uh, that will be the third one. Uh, so you can post your question or um, ask me that question and I will be more than glad to address uh, that question uh, hoping that that will be shared with other students so everybody can see it uh, at that point and um, uh, in addition I will uh, answer your question. Um, if you don't finish the activity you might not be able to uh, um, few other activities so it's good to uh, complete all activities for the module before moving to the next module in the uh, course material. You can communicate with me through email, through phone or uh, through Skype. The more communication you have with the instructor the better understanding of the course material. Email messages should have the subject as the name of the course. So put the name of the course or the number of the course in the subject with the problem that you have in this course. Uh, within the body of the email, use professional language and professional words when writing your email. Don't use the chat or uh, text uh, um, words or wording. Um, virtual office hours are posted online so you can use Skype to communicate with me during those hours. Uh, Skype is a free software that can be added through Windows as an application. If you don't have Microsoft and uh, you are using Apple then you can create a Microsoft account and uh, use Skype or download Skype on your machine and use it uh, on your machine. Um, the other software that we are using right now which comes also with uh, Microsoft 365 is uh, Microsoft Teams uh, which uh, you know both Skype and Teams will allow of document sharing, uh, screen sharing uh, and uh, other uh, things you can ask questions, you can chat, you can use the uh, voice only, you can use a voice and video uh, whatever your choices, you can uh, use any of these choices co to communicate with me. Each assignment has guidelines and requirements. So make sure to read assignment requirements and submit within the allotted due dates. Uh, late submission or late assignment submission will not be accepted. Part of the requirements is to submit your assignment with a certain file naming format as follows, which is, uh, you know, I need you to follow certain formats so I will know um, the, uh, which assignment, what course, and uh, the uh, person who submitted that assignment. Those assignments will be downloaded uh, automatically on my machine. Uh, with uh, those naming formats, then I will know uh, the, um, uh, again the course, the assignment and the person who submitted that assignment. So the naming format should be um, the assignment number uh, under uh, score the course number underscore your last name. Uh, when you submit the assignment uh, inside the Microsoft Word document add your name 
so I will know that this assignment is for you so add your name add, add your email address as if you are submitting you know a report uh, a professional report where you have the name the email address and other information uh, you can do it uh, at the top of each page or uh, at the first page at least at the first page when you submit your assignment all assignments should be submitted in Microsoft Word or in a PDF format unless uh, instructed otherwise if I told you that you need to submit um, something in a different software package then I will let you know within the guidelines of that assignments or that assignment this course uh, requires the submission of an article or a term paper um, uh, the term paper uh, should address one of the current security topics you will be at the, at the beginning you will be uh, required to submit an initial abstract uh, which is like a summary of what uh, the topic is about what are you going to address and um, how are you going to address it um, you will use a third party so you will not use I or we or uh, uh, us or anything like that you will say the paper will address this and this uh, the paper will be talking about this um, and again you know it has to be one of these current security topics that is hot topic uh, uh, used uh, in or uh, affect uh, information security when you submit the abstract um, I will um, grade it as soon as possible and um, uh, give you a feedback the approval uh, if you need to change anything if you need to add anything then you can do those changes and then start working on the paper uh, you can work on the paper from now so it's open um, uh, to work on the paper or the, the article uh, but the submission for the full article will be at the end of the semester the paper guidelines and requirements will be posted online so if you have any questions uh, about those guidelines just let me know uh, the paper will require an academic search with the latest security journal publications which means uh, that Wikipedia or, or blogs uh, are not um, uh, allowed or so should not be used because those are like uh, if you are using blogs that's personal opinion about uh, you know an, an idea or an article uh, we want to see uh, more of um, uh, data uh, scientific data that's been published about um, uh, the topic uh, uh, some statistics some charts that will uh, uh, show the uh, problem and show how it's been addressed the grading process will be linked to Turnitin so Turnitin will check if uh, other uh, students submitted the same or not so please don't use material from other uh, uh, courses or other um, students from this class that took this class uh, or who took this class before because that will show in Turnitin Turnitin will check if it's been submitted to uh, Daytona State College or to other universities and it will let me know so be careful of submitting other people work don't do that um, and when you uh, actually read article uh, more of summarize the article not um, copy and paste from that article don't use similar words just I mean don't use the words the, the copy paste words but um, more of a summary of the external resource uh, for the exam there will be two exams through the whole semester midterm and the final both exams will have uh, 50 questions true false and multiple choice questions with two points each the final will include all chapters within the course material uh, grading changes from one semester to another based on uh, given uh, task on a, and activities sometimes you know I will add an assignment I will add a discussion or change something so it differ from um, uh, one semester to another um, so the grading um, uh, 
policy it's posted in uh, the syllabus and uh, you will see the grading for this semester uh, so check the syllabus for the uh, policy and the points distribution for each activity within that course. The main goal of this course is to provide students with the foundation for understanding the key issues associated with protecting information assets. Um, determining the level of protection and response to security incidents uh, that we need to uh, do uh, on um, uh, a security uh, level and then designing a consistent reasonable information security system with appropriate intrusion detection and reporting features uh, that will assist in uh, the protection process. The course objective is to explain the fundamental concepts of information security including the principles, definitions, and architecture. Explain the need to integrate information security within or with the business uh, architecture. Then we need to describe and evaluate methodologies used to identify risks, vulnerabilities, and threats in organizations' processes and how to mitigate their, their impact. Uh, part of the uh, objective is to describe the layers of security architectures and evaluate technologies that can be implemented to secure each layer. Usually you will look at the system that we have, uh, the current system, and you will see what kind of security layer they have in, in the architecture or in the uh, system, and then you define the weaknesses uh, basically and see if you can implement new uh, technologies or new methods or new techniques that will assist in the uh, security. So you are constructing a security audit, uh, penetration testing, continuity of operations, planning and dis disaster recovery process to secure uh, the organization information assets. To do that we are going to uh, cover first we are going to introduce information security, what is information security, uh, the different definitions, the different terminologies uh, that will be associated with that. Uh, then uh, the need for security, why do we need it, why uh, do organizations need uh, to secure their information. Uh, we will look at some of the legal, ethical, and professional issues in information security. Um, when you say information security, that means you might use some of the uh, methodologies or techniques that will uh, affect your uh, employees um, so or customers. So uh, what, what will be the limit for that? Or what's the limit of implementing these kind of measures? Uh, then we will look at risk management uh, that will be associated all the risk, identifying the risk and um, mitigating the risk, uh, the source of the risk, what was the source so it will not happen again. And once we know all that, we start planning for security for the organization. Um, what kind of techniques, tools, resources should be used to uh, uh, address the problems. Uh, part of the planning will be identifying the uh, different uh, tools, technologies uh, that will be used such as firewalls, VPNs and wireless um, uh, technologies. Uh, we will look at the intrusion detection and prevention systems and other tools uh, that can be utilized to uh, secure the company. Uh, part of the security is um, uh, encrypting and decrypting the information. So usually we um, uh, add some encryption to uh, the um, messages or to the information so it will be hidden from um, the uh, uh, hackers and then decrypt them uh, only when um, they are in the hands of the authorized person. 
part of the security also is the physical security. So we are going to address physical security, which is, you know, uh, the gates, the doors, the windows, the uh, uh, fences that should be added uh, to the organization to secure uh, the facility itself. Uh, the last thing will be implementing the information security in uh, the uh, actual uh, settings or um, in the organization. So that will be all for this session. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Uh, thank you and have a great day.